Hello, YouTube viewers. Okay, this is my video on how to save at CVS. I've had a couple people ask me. They want me to take them by the hand and show them how to, how to do this, how to do the process. So I thought I'd go into it a little bit more, and I'll go down what I'm going to do tomorrow just to show you how it can be done to literally walk out of there next to nothing and how I get to do it week after week. Okay, here's the deal. When I tell you you need to go, you're just going to have some initial out-of-pocket money to start. Okay, let's just pretend. Now, you're going to want coupons, too. You, you're stupid if you're not going to use the coupons. But even if you don't, well, you're not going to succeed. But the first week, if you don't want to use coupons, fine. I don't care. Okay, so you're going to go in there and say they're going to give you $2 in extra bucks for buying some, I don't know, some deodorant. You're going to pay, you're so... You're going to pay $4 for the deodorant, but they're going to give you $2 back. Now, if you had a coupon in there, you'd be cheaper. Yet, yeah, again, we're not using coupons in this example. So, theoretically, it's a $2. It's going to cost you $2. You're going to get a $2 extra buck back. Now, we're going to keep that $2 extra buck for next week. So, you're going to pay $2 out of pocket, and then you're going to get a $2 extra buck back. Okay, you got the $2 extra buck. Let's just pretend that's all we do. You can do more, but, you know... The example is going to be the same. So you got a $2 extra buck. Now next week, let's say there's going to be something like you buy, let's just say it's an awesome deal because this is going to go over on and on. Let's say you buy more deodorant, it's $2, it's $2, but you get a $2 extra buck. Let's say you basically it's free, you get a $2 extra buck. Now, the cool thing about that is you're not going to have to take the $2 out of your pocket. You already have $2 in extra bucks from last week. So it's like you're switch swapping extra bucks for free deodorant. Because then you're going to get another $2 to do it again next week. And the idea of that is is to just keep, you know, just keep, you want to buy things that you're going to trigger extra bucks so you can continue to do it again. Now, that's when I say you use coupons on top of that. Because if you use a coupon with the item, you're already dropping your initial cost down, which, and then you can get the extra bucks, you know what I'm saying. Obviously, use coupons. If you don't use coupons, it's kind of pointless. I mean, you can still do it, but you're still going to be taking money out of your pocket. And to do it, to get out dirt cheap coupons, use your coupons. So, at CVS, yeah, you can use coupons, obviously. They have, the, you go to the coupon policy, I'm not going to go into that, but... They have different promotions to stack on top of this as well. Like this week, I got a, it's a 25% off my entire order. Um, it's excluding sale items, but things that I'm going to buy are not on sale. So you get these from time to time. You have to sign up for their email offers. You get this. Typically, then there's usually like $5 off $30 or $25. Sometimes it's $4 off $20. But you can stack that on top of it, and then that's where it really comes in to be awesome. But typically, if you have one of those, give this to them first. Because like the off, say it's the $5 off $30, usually I've been told two different, a couple of different things. That would be whatever. So if you give them all your other coupons first, and your total is going to be less than $30, they're not going to give you the $5 off. So you obviously want to give that to them first, and then go from there so you can continue to take the coupons off. So those are two things you can kind of do. So you can stack these. Again, you can stack manufacturer coupons. Sometimes at the if they have a coupon machine, you scan that, and they'll give you a coupon for you know two dollars off, whatever, two dollars off whatever. But let's say you have a another dollar manufacturer coupon for whatever, you can use a CVS coupon and a manufacturer coupon and stack them together for even better savings. And if you get really awesome, they'll be giving you extra bucks that week, and then it's probably going to be free. So that's a good thing to do. Keep Scan your card at the coupon machine. You never know what you're going to get. Typically, I throw the majority of those coupons away, but sometimes hold on to them. They're usually not good for that, typically like a manufacturer coupon. But, yeah. So that's really how it is. You just... You need to buy things that give you extra bucks. Now you can have a week where you don't buy any extra. You'll buy things that give you extra bucks and just kind of just go all in. And say you got twenty dollars in extra bucks, but you may only get back two. But it's gonna make it free that week. That's fine. Sometimes I do that and I'll reset myself. But smart thing to do is to keep going. Now again, 
don't buy things. Well, I've done it before. I bought tampons just because they were free. But buy things that you know you can use or give to a friend or someone else to use, a family member, or you can donate to charity to use, which is basically usually what I do. I have my stockpile. I have people come over all the time. They go shopping at my stockpile, and I usually give them stuff for free because, again, I don't pay that much. Okay. So that's kind of the basics of CVS. If you have more questions, just let me know, post a comment. I'm just gonna do this quick tomorrow just to show you ex how this is gonna be done, how from keeping extra bucks. Okay, let's, I have a spreadsheet. I make a spreadsheet every week. Yeah, I'm a crazy spreadsheet guy, but it makes you break it down and get pretty darn close. Okay, tomorrow, like tomorrow they're having candy canes, $1.27. You buy candy canes, you get $1.27 back. So I'm getting a free box of candy canes because I have extra bucks from previous weeks that I'm rolling over, so I'm trading extra bucks for more extra bucks, so those those candy canes are now free to me. Okay, they're having a Chic deal, I'd say. You buy $20 in Chic Hydro products, you get $10 in extra bucks back. Now I'm gonna buy two Hydro razors, which are $8.99 a piece, and then I have tomorrow's paper, there's gonna be $2 off coupons on each, and then there's gonna be, I'm gonna buy some Chic Hydro shave gel, it's $4.19, you get, then there's a dollar coupon also in tomorrow's coup paper. So I'm already going to take six off and then I'm going to get $10 back. So it's kind of like I'm only paying $4, which is sweet. And then they're having a pledge. It's like a household product deal. Um, you buy, I think it's $10 in those products. So I'm going to buy four cans of pledge. I have $1.50 printable coupons for off any pledge except seven ounce excludes the seven ounce, but this is gonna be bigger. Those are three dollars a piece, so it's gonna be twelve dollars, and then I'm gonna take six off, and then they're gonna give me four back, so theoretically it's like I'm paying fifty cents. So that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. It's not much, but I couldn't find anything else to make it work in my system. Now, I have total pre-tax cost thirty-five dollars and forty-four cents. I have fifteen dollars in extra bucks. I still have a gift card promotion, which they run these too sometimes. But if you're smart, you get CVS gift cards to treat it like an extra bucks. You can keep rolling it over I mean, if you can get something else. But I'm smart with that. I buy the CVS gift cards if they allow it. So I have that, and now I have that twenty-five percent off coupon, which should take eight dollars and eighty-eight six eight dollars and eighty-six cents off. Which is, hold on. Ah, I gotta get my, I can do it on here. Never mind. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get to my calculator. I don't do the math. Do, 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 while you wait. That's 58 cents. The difference between my cost and all my coupons and extra bucks is 58 cents. So if I, I'll go in there and give them 58 cents. And I still have 40 cents on this gift card, so this could be a darn cheap, darn cheap week. Yeah, darn cheap. But now the cool thing is, when I add up my extra bucks, I have an extra bucks column to let me know what I'm going to get back. I'm going to give back $14.27 in extra bucks. Literally, I only have 15 this week, so I'm, I'm giving them a couple dust cents. But I'm it should cost me less than a dollar out of pocket, if I did my math right. Usually my spreadsheets are right on. Usually I'm wrong, and I end up getting it f totally free. When I think I'm gonna pay something. So for all of that, I'm gonna get candy canes, two Chic Hydro razors, some Chic Hydro shave gel, and four cans of Pledge. Again, I'm not gonna use four cans of Pledge, but I'm going to donate them. Give them, I'm probably gonna give them to friends that can use it. But I'm just trading extra bucks, like I'm like here, have these coupons and extra bucks, and then the receipt is gonna print me out more to do it next week. So really, it's not rocket science, but you've got to take some time. I take time every, usually every Saturday. I get a spreadsheet like that. I look, you have to go online to iHeartCVS, living great with coupon, or like, no, we use coupon.com. Just put it, what I do is I just put in CVS, and then I put the date, like tomorrow's 12-4, and it's going to come up with matchups, and they're going to give you the deals, tell you what you should do to maximize your savings. Which is what I do. I don't come up with this stuff on myself. I let them do it and then I pick out what I want to do and then whatever works with my plan. Yeah. So it's not hard. It's not rocket science. Again, I've already saved over $1,000 in 2011 and I haven't, I haven't even been couponing all of 2011. I kind of hopped on with the extreme couponing you know, bandwagon, but I'm not that extreme, but that's pretty awesome. So there you have it. CVS, 
the basics of shopping at CVS. Again, stack coupons with your extra bucks, roll them over, use coupons in the coupon machine, sign up for email offers, get email offers. And like they also have a thing with the the X the beauty club. When you buy some of these things, it qualifies as a beauty product. And when you spend fifty dollars, you get then five dollars in extra bucks. Well, I've already got. I did that last week, and it spit out five dollars in extra bucks. I didn't even know it. And another thing too, I think it's two percent of your savings goes. You get a quarterly extra buck then two percent of that, which is usually not much. It's a couple bucks. But again, those are not every quarter. So you stack that on top of there too. And it's like free money. It is free money. Shopping at CVS is like free money. So probably watch my video tomorrow. Let's find out how I do. But yeah. So this is how you shop at CVS. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.